Uh, by the way, Eric the Actor, I want to congratulate you. Eric the Actor was now uh, on Inside the Actor's Studio. Oh, really? Over the weekend. I don't know how many people saw it. It was fantastic. I'll play you a clip. What is your favorite word? Bitch. Don't fuck. What is your least favorite? Of course, I should mention that he was on with uh, Jeff the Drunk. So they had to share, Billy? They did, yeah. What is your favorite word? Bitch. Don't fuck. What is your least favorite word? No more. Technically, wouldn't both of those be two words? Loser. What turns you on? Acting. First off, like you've ever acted before. Uh, big boobs. <laughs> what turns you off? Midgets. People that are white trash. What sound or noise do you love? The sound of a beer opening. Sound of the A's winning. An announcer is announcing the win. That's the dumbest answer ever. What sound or noise do you hate? The sound of the A's winning. <laughs> <laughs> Sound of just a voice. The question the students <laughs> wait for each week What is your favorite curse word? Motherfucker. Dipshit. What profession other than your own would you like to attempt? Parachuting. Well, would have liked to have been a baseball player. Oh, yeah. That'll fucking happen. What profession would you not like to participate in? Shovel suit. I ain't the revolt around garbage. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? The bar is open. <laughs> There's no idiot up here. Mm, you're already there, ass wipe. Well, there it is. Uh, Eric, congratulations on your appearance on Inside the Actor's Studio. They make a good team, actually. Yeah, they're good together, like New Abbott and Costello. <laughs> now, I'm mainly calling in for something you said earlier during your discussion about Darren Young. The gay wrestler. Yes. Yes, I said his parents, his parents were embarrassed that he was a wrestler. <laughs> that is so fucking disrespectful. You know how many fans in WWE and... Do you know sarcasm, you may maniac? <laughs> Do you know sarcasm? I said his parents were embarrassed. It, 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 the, they, you assume they were embarrassed because he was gay. No, he was. They were embarrassed because he was a wrestler. That's a, that's a joke. They should, they shouldn't be embarrassed for either. <laughs> oh my God, Eric! Oh, Eric, way to not get a joke. Eric, this is your low IQ speaking. It's a joke. Eric, well, it wasn't a funny one. Of course it's funny. Think, no, about, it wasn't. think about what I did there. I go, hey, so uh, Robin, there's a there's a new uh, gay uh, wrestler, and uh, he just came out of the closet, and his parents said that he was they were embarrassed because he was a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think that's brilliant? No. Wow. Wow, you're a tough crowd. Eric, You're harder to please than Heidi Klum. Is there nothing funny about wrestling and wrestlers? Eric? Well, I mean, I, the whole thing hey, I got, about well, Vince wants to talk to you, Eric. Go ahead, Vince. Hey, uh, Howard, I thought that Eric the asshole was banned, but you know, you got such a great heart. And and you're you're a great guy and everything, but this this guy just keeps fucking ripping you. Well, he doesn't. He Vince. He doesn't get the joke. V uh, Eric, when is it okay to joke around about the WWE? I don't know. Hey, Eric, I got news for you. The WWE is fake. It's fake. It's not even sports. It's just fake. It's scripted. It's acting. Yeah. What do you say to that? You dumb fuck. I know that, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Look who's the fucking idiot. He takes, takes wrestling seriously. <laughs> fucking moron. Oh, by the way, Eric, I heard your audition. Thank you, Vince. I heard the audition for uh, the WWE that you did. Uh, that was yeah. not a good audition. Eric got offered some kind of gig. What was the gig, Eric? Well, I haven't been offered it yet. I've been talking. Right to a, a wrestler that is a free agent right now. Yeah, what and was was this job you're auditioning for? Was it a talk show? No, I'm trying to become the 
manager of the wrestler, wrestler that's a free agent named Matt Morgan. Oh, okay. So Eric put together a tape mm -hmm. of him doing wrestling shtick. Okay. Uh, surely you know about this? Yeah, apparently Johnny was supposed to get him set up with some people. So he, his Eric's dream is to be a manager in wrestling. Right. He wants did you, to manage a tag team. Did you hear his tape of his audition? Well, so Eric texted me upset oh. that Johnny had dropped the ball yet again. Well, well of course. I mean, listen to this. This is not... So, so I he said, got the tape and dropped the ball. So yeah. I said, audition. leave it for me on my phone. Right. I have tons of connections at WWE. Is that true? No, but I got you. Right, and yeah. they're listening. Okay. And I figured... You know, leave it on there, and let's see what it sounds like. All right, here's a little bit of Eric. <laughs> Eric, uh, this is wild. This is a message to the WWE Universe and the WWE. My name... And the... F what and WWE? Eric, what's and that? The, and the... <laughs> <laughs> this is a message for the... <laughs> And the WWE. Why wouldn't you begin again? I don't know why I didn't begin again. Because I guess would require me to call, hang up. And All right, let me keep back. playing. Let Wait, me keep you playing. Got, you yeah. got to hear. <laughs> in the middle of this audition, he his, my voicemail cuts off. There's a time limit on it. Uh, well, so not, to, believe me, I'm not going to make it through the whole two minutes. He has to call back and continue his audition. Also known as Eric the Actor. I've been a long time fan of pro wrestling. And one thing I've noticed lately, there's a lot of false perceptions going around in the WWE. Bray Wyatt, Wyatt's perception of there's no such thing as heroes. The Shield's perception that they are the hounds and deliverers of justice. The real Can American you imagine how boring this is? <laughs> oh, and it goes on and like, you know, I can't even play it because it's so boring. Everyone will tune out. Have you ever heard a manager so monotone? Oh, oh is it? <laughs> Like I told Eric, I said, managers are supposed to scream and yell. That's, oh. that's half of wrestling. Eric, you know, if you're going to be a... Thing as uh, hero. Uh, <laughs> Eric, the WWE get animated. is over the top. You got to be. You, I know that. You, you, oh, you're you're gonna change everything here. He was angry. We have when quiet he, discussions oh, about I, wrestling. I, I should just shut up and play the rest of this because you, I'm you, you never hear, hear a more boring thing. You have to hear the whole thing. Swagger and Jim Coulter and, and um, Antonio Cesaro thinking that they are real Americans, that no one else matters in this country, that immigrants don't matter. That's false perception. A lot of our, our American history come from immigrants. Oh, that's what a classroom. What I want to do is I want to kill all the false perceptions. Oh, oh, I, so I'm listening to this. This is edited, home. by the way. I know. I'm listening to it at home, yeah. and I go, I... I can't even play this on the air because what it's so is he talking about? Who knows? <laughs> There's different like groups in the WWE that he's calling out. Right, you know? Eric. Horrible audition. Go back and do a new one. You don't want anybody to send that one in. You say I'm disrespectful to the WWE. Presenting that as an audition is incredibly disrespectful. That's as if you didn't but, know the WWE at all. Uh, Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. What do you want to say? Uh -oh. <laughs> and I do believe that you have a crutch on that gay wrestler. <laughs> Jeff, you Jeff, what? That true? Jeff tell, called me and told me he thinks Eric wants to be the gay wrestler's manager more than anything. <laughs> exactly. These two go back and forth. All Eric, what do you think of that? That you have a crush on the gay wrestler? No, I do not. <laughs> I think you want to fuck him. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you rare Eric, piece of trash. Eric, you have a you have a role in the movie that we have to um. Never mind that, we Eric. To, would you, Eric? Would you be the you gay? That? Eric, would you be the gay wrestler's manager if if the WWE gave you that job? No. Wow. Oh. So that so so the joke offended you, but you won't represent the guy. Hey, let me speak. Go ahead. The reason why is I don't want to enter 
the WWE as a heel manager. <laughs> and right now, this tag team of time, time players are heels. <laughs> You're a heel. <laughs> <laughs> You're about as tall as a heel. You're <laughs> you come up to my heel. <laughs> you still need to get on the road, but but, but Eric, if you, you're telling oh, me, you, go go kill another hundred brain cells with pot. Gladly. <laughs> Gladly. <laughs> By the way, Jeff has a history with WWE as well. Wait, what is what is Eric saying that the gay? Uh, wrestler is a bad guy. It's a bad guy, and Eric doesn't want to come in as a bad guy's man. He doesn't Once want to again, represent bad guys. Eric is the only guy who's an actor who has stipulations before he even gets the part. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> like this guy wants more than ever to be in the WWE. Yeah, and he won't even take an entry level as a bad guy's manager. If you wanted to be in that bad, they go, "Hey, we need you to be a funny janitor." You should be like, "All right, where's the mop?" Would you be a gay wrestler's good guy manager? Yes. Oh. But you'd have to wear, like, a feathered boa down to the ring and, like, yeah, be all glittered out. Gay. Eric the Fairy. Uh, <laughs> Eric the Fairy? <laughs> <laughs> Would you change your name to Eric the Fairy? No. <laughs> <laughs> totally all right, something. well, uh, fascinating. All right, Jeff, thank you, and Eric, thank you. Eric? Yes. I got the role... I Did got you? The, um, script, and I've been practicing, and oh. I'm ready to go. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jeff. You're ready for your audition. I hung up on him. He was annoying. Yeah, Jeff. Jeff got a call like two years ago from the WWE. They go, "We want you to come down to this event in yeah. Albany." Yeah. They go, "We want you to do something with Stone Cold Steve Austin." Oh wow. Shave your head. Get ready. Bring beers. All this stuff. Turns out it was an entire scam. Oh. He showed up outside the venue with a shaved head and beer. <laughs> and his name wasn't on any list. Oh, no. He brought like his nephew with him. Oh, it was, oh, it was terrible. Oh my god. Terrible. Wish I had Who did bonus. it? Does anybody ever know who scammed? I try I, we tried uh, find, <laughs> we tried, it was not in house, I no, swear, but right. that's cruel. Oh. Uh, wow. I wish I could play you more of Eric's audition because it's a part two. The, Let me hear. I want to yeah, listen. Yeah, but it's so fucking boring. <laughs> all right. I'll the best play. is when he gets cut off. All right. Well, all right. Assume he's been cut off, and now here he's back. Next message. And I was saying, I will not be the one showing the physical, brutal aggression. But I did say I have the big blueprint to show the brutal aggression and I will manage them <laughs> big time can you imagine if they, can you imagine if they put him on they don't know when to cut away from commercial I would love it done. oh I wish they would hire him oh my god that's what <laughs> I said never I, get a statement out <laughs> if there's anybody with a brain in their head at WWE and they hear this yeah, I, but, mean, I mean find something for could you really sit through this I, I mean as much as but I love Eric they're gonna cut him off I had to cut this off at my house like I was listening to it and I was laughing and then I went oh my god it just goes on and on and on listen there are people that sit through entire you know ball surgery shows there's no. some people that would sit through that I don't know but you know he'll be the worst manager in wrestling history. Be great. So beware that in time, the Shield, <laughs> the Wyatt family, I don't even know what the real saying. Americans, and Heyman's guys, Heyman's guys will all be in that ring with crimson red pouring out of their head. Can I say something, Eric? I don't even know anything yeah. about wrestling, but I would be a better audition than this for a manager. I, I watch sometimes, like like for two seconds of wrestling, and I'd be better than you at this. Let me tell you something right now. Anyone. Give me the name of a wrestler, Eric. Uh, Ric Lesnar. Anyone who messes with my client. Brock Reznor will go down. You will go down. I guarantee it. And that's a promise. Now, let's get in that ring and prove something right now. And by the way, Brock Reznor, my 
Klein does not Whoever get in the ring. Is. Whatever's in there. <laughs> Whatever. He does not get in the ring for less than a million dollars. So you can forget about the next matches. I'm not negotiating. Something like that. They all yell and scream. Right, when I watch what wrestling, you're talking about, we don't even know, Eric. When I used to watch wrestling, they'd sit there, the wrestlers would talk, and then they'd just go, tell about it, baby! And then the manager would say, go, let me tell you something! And the level wouldn't change. It wouldn't be a guy half asleep. Do you hear what we're saying? Yeah, yeah they go to um, Eric after the wrestler <laughs> goes, I'm mad as hell and can't take it anymore. And go, we are going <laughs> to... your volume broke <laughs> <laughs> these nays. As I was saying, or trying to. Derek, you understand what we're saying? Yes. All right, so you got to go back to the drawing board. you got to do a better audition. Call my or phone. maybe this isn't the part for you. Yeah, call Shuli's phone and do better. I'd like to actually say that I know somewhere where there's a better audition than, but yet Mars? I don't really want to say because the fact it's with another company. Uh, All right. Okay, anyway, I got to go, Eric. All right, thank you. Thank you. You gave a better audition um, somewhere else. I was sabotaging What is it, J.D.? I, I really want you to play the clip of the wrestler that <laughs> it really hates him. And hey, says, Derek? Oh, yeah, okay. Where is that? It's, a, it's right above those two auditions. Right, right. You love this. Huh? Eric, this is a wrestler that hates your guts. <laughs> I listen to Howard Stern. I'm a big fan of Howard Stern. I like him a lot. This is the TNA podcast. This is Bobby Roode, I believe is his yeah, name. Yeah, Bobby Roode. You know Bobby Roode, Eric? I'm aware of him. Okay. <laughs> I love the show. But the one thing that I cannot stand, out of everybody on his show, out of everybody that he has on his show, the one person, the one thing that I absolutely cannot stand and have to turn the channel on is when that stupid little Eric, the actor, gets on the air. It, it's like nails on a chalkboard, and I literally, literally want to go through my radio. I want to grab him by his ears, and I want to stick my foot in his face and kick him just as hard as I can. I cannot stand him. <laughs> well, understanding there's some animosity there, but what is the real? Are you just don't like him personally have you i mean you've met him before or what? we've you know had a conversation if you could even call that but the fact is i mean when he was at one of our shows i saw him hanging around the knockouts locker room like some little stupid little perv you know <laughs> waiting for something to drop on the floor so he can pick it up and smell it or ask for people to, to get him free t-shirts at the merchandise stand and what take 20 bucks out of your pocket get off your wallet and buy it yourself I mean, what do you want handouts because you look the way you do because you talk the way you do because you're a freaking moron you want you want handouts Get out of here. Well, just for the record, there was an invited guest of mine. <laughs> he should never be a guest of anybody's. Well, and that's the issue at hand. And I, and I guess I have to publicly apologize to Eric. Wait, hold on. Uh, hold on. I cut off all communication with Eric upon your request. Okay, but I got a question for you. Yeah. This Eric, the actor guy, is, is lives in California, correct? The last time we talked, he was in San Francisco laying on his bed at, what, five in the afternoon like a lazy piece of crap, right? Oh. Right? So he's, 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 he lives he's in California. California. Yeah. Well, in October, Bound for Glory, you know, uh, we have a huge show coming to the San Diego area. He's going to be there. Tell me, are you going to invite this guy back to our show? Are you going to invite him to Bound for Glory in San Diego? I would obviously you know, consult. You know, I mean, let me guess. You're going to leave him those tickets, those special little tickets. You always leave your stupid little well, friends. Eric says he's always wanted to get in the ring. You know? Oh, he wants to get in the ring. <laughs> he, wants, he wants to get in the ring. Well, I'll tell you what. You leave him those tickets because I know where your tickets are, JB. They're, they're, they're up way up in the freaking nosebleeds. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let Eric get in the ring because I'm going to walk up there into the nosebleeds myself. <laughs> and I'm going to grab him <laughs> right by the ears and I'm going to kick him as far as I can, hopefully <laughs> far enough so he lands in the middle of the ring and then I'm going to walk down. Down to the middle of the ring, and I'm gonna pick his ass back up, and I'm gonna kick him right back up into the nosebleeds. How about that? Are you okay with me consulting Eric on at least telling him maybe it's not a good idea to come to Bound no, for Glory? No, tell him to come, please, <laughs> Eric. If you're listening, come to Bound for Glory. You gonna go to Bound for Glory? I hope to. Mm, wow, you're not afraid, off. huh? Yeah. No, you're not afraid of Bobby Roode. No. No. Look what uh -huh. he's been dealing with his whole life. He's afraid of a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric. Well, uh, I would say record a new audition. That's my advice. Thank you. Get on that. we got to do it quick. Yep. 
All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Another uh, call from Eric, the actor. You got to love yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know. You're as addicted to him as he is to you. Mm, you yeah. banned him, and here you are talking to him almost every day. I am. Uh, I can't say what. You can't. <laughs> Oh, shoot, I didn't realize Steven Spielberg was on the phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Mr. Spielberg? Yes, this is Mr. Spielberg. Yeah, but you wanted to offer Eric a part, I guess. Uh, yeah, I had a great role for him coming up. Um, I'm getting together E.T. 2, and I thought he would be a perfect E.T. Right. <laughs> uh, I thought uh, he would look great with a little blanket. I'm not sure Eric would be tall enough, actually. <laughs> All right, thank you, Steven. Thank you, Mr. Spielberg. Yeah, how do you call Mr. Spielberg by his <laughs> right. first name? All right, well, there it is. Uh, Shirley, thank you. What's happening?